Holy smokes, Batman, what's that? That's a $327 million dividend avalanche, Robin. Today I'd like to have a quick uh, look at, um, I suppose, business leaders and uh, a little bit about Andrew Forrest and how he's generated his uh, $327 million dividend avalanche. So to be in a position to generate such a massive dividend, you actually have to have uh, the vision. So you need the extended vision to be able to actually put these projects together and, and create these companies from nothing. So in 2003, Andrew recognized the rise of China and the, uh, and the middle class over there and the need for iron ore to facilitate the country's growth. So that idea was um, formulated around his kitchen table at his, at his house and the company was born. And now it's a, yeah, the third, fourth largest um, iron ore um, produced in the world. So Andrew now owns uh, 1.09 billion shares, which equates to roughly 35.4% of the company. This is the reason why he's going to get a $327 million dividend avalanche into his back pocket. It's going to weigh him down. So Fortescue announced a 19 cent interim dividend and 11 cent uh, per share special dividend, which is a total of 30 cents. So the share price um, in, the la in the last um, three months has risen from uh, $4.50 up to $6.50. So that's a rise of over 44%. So the main keys um, to be able to put a project like this together you have to have a strong focus and it also is critical to have a deep industry knowledge and these these two things can be applied to any sector um, you know any company so the lion's share of Andrew's net wealth is invested in in Fortescue even though uh, he does have other investments outside the company this is where his main wealth is even though he's got so much wealth uh, invested in uh, FMG, he still isn't afraid to make large periodic additional investments in the company. The main reason is that he understands the company and its fundamentals intimately. So he's very comfortable to add to his investment. This is especially true when he feels that the shares uh, represent good value and it's not reflected by the current share price. So if you put all of Andrew's investments into a pie chart, you'd actually see that he's quite concentrated um, in his investments. So he's got all or a, a large portion of his investments uh, in the Forsky Metals Group. So as Warren Buffett says, diversification is a protection against ignorance. It, may, it makes little sense if you know what you're doing. So. In my opinion, Andrew knows uh, FMG and he knows the uh, mining industry in great depth. So therefore he understands the ins and outs of the industry. So he's used his knowledge to generate great value from his main investment. So this is a very similar path that the majority of in investors have taken, even um, Warren Buffett himself. You can look at all the other big guys, they they look at um, what they know and what they do best, and then they don't really diversify greatly outside of that. That's where all their wealth wealth is. So for the future view, I'm expecting another large dividend avalanche for Andrew when the second half results are reported uh, later this year. It's mainly due to the reduced uh, iron ore supply and an increase in demand from China. 
I think this has already culminated uh, in significant um, increase in the realized iron ore price for Fortescue. In a recent earnings call with the CEO, uh, she said that Fortescue received an incentive of $70 per dry metric tonne earlier this year. I mean, on the downside, some analysts are expecting a downgrade in the Chinese economic growth forecast, which obviously would affect the company's earnings. But like with anything with China, it's a little bit hard to gauge. So we have to sort of wait and see how that all plays out. As always, uh, we're trying to crack our financial sky with the more information. If you think this is a useful little um, presentation, uh, give us a like, subscribe. As always, make sure we've done our research. I'm not recommending to buy or sell or do anything in this um, little video. It's more of a demonstrational piece to show you that it's not you don't always need to diversify to um, have good investment strategy as long as you know what you're doing so yeah definitely more information and just a different point of view on on things that you hear typically in the market thanks